What's going on guys, here is another completed custom painted build here of the RRG Sazabi in this case. And once again, this was just for a custom. And so basically the custom request was to paint it up in a cool, funky teal color. And so that's what it is. It's actually two-tone teal. And if you guys saw my work in progress, you saw the colors that I was using for this. So basically the, the two-tone teal, I think, came out pretty well. Uh, it's not really very noticeable, only in certain areas when you're looking at the parts like right next to each other, especially like up on the shoulders and down on like the lower part of the legs. When you see the colors right next to each other on like the same part, then you can really see the difference. But otherwise, when you're just looking at the kit from the front, the difference between the two colors is not super apparent. And so that's what I was going for. I think when you're doing like two-tone armor like that, like RG style coloring. I think that's like the intended effect. I think that's the best looking effect in my personal opinion. So uh, I think it came out pretty well for the coloring of that. And then also for the, uh, like all the parts that were originally black on the kit, uh, I changed all those to that kind of dark blue kind of color. Really happy with how that came out as well. Uh, the only parts that were originally black that I changed to a different color would be the fuel tanks. The fuel tanks were originally black and changed those obviously to this kind of slightly greenish tan kind of color there for those and really happy with how that color came out. So basically, <laughs> in a nutshell, really happy with how all the colors came out for this kit and uh, just because I didn't do any customizing on this in terms of like modifications or anything, it's just custom colors. Uh, and I'm pretty happy with that because the colors, changing the colors of it was kind of like the main thing. And then obviously just, of course, then doing the detail painting and the panel lining, the decals and everything on this as well. Uh, the decals did in a mix, uh, well, they're not a mix, I mean just uh, they're, the decals are just orange and white color. So I was gonna say a mix of orange and white, but they're not a mix of orange and white, they're just orange and white uh, decals. And so I did that to uh, the white to so that they'll be like, they'll pop against the teal and the orange just to add a little bit more color in there as well. And I think those came out pretty well as well. And I didn't really intend this, but I just now, now that I'm talking about it, just re now realizing that it actually matches the colors of the little missiles in the back of the shield as well. I didn't actually do that on purpose, but I just painted the missiles in those colors first. And then, you know, just so happened that I used the same color for the, de for the decals. Yeah, hmm, interesting. But anyway, uh, and yeah, then the weapons and like the, the rifle and the axe are in like different colors. Uh, just like different shades of gray just from uh, the rest of the kit and that is pretty much it uh, with this uh, i really like the little bits of silver accent on there as well as you guys know i don't typically use a lot of uh, metallic stuff and you know there's, there's very little bit in here and so that's kind of like usually the most i'll tend to use is just a little bit of metallic silver or something like that on some parts of the frame and so i use a little bit of that for like the the mega cannon there in the center of the torso and then like for just some of the vent details around and like some of the exposed details because with uh, some of the armor hatches open and things like that just some details of the frame uh, i use some of that silver and i think that also does help a little a bit to uh, help some of the details of the inside uh, frame parts kind of pop in there as well so as you guys are just seeing the kit come around hopefully you're able to see in a bunch of those little details as you guys know if you're familiar with this kit there's a lot of details around everything the kit so it's kind of hard to show everything even when you have like all this stuff opened up and i don't have the panel expanded out on the legs uh just not for any particular reason i just like it like this but you guys should still be able to get a good look around uh, a bunch of the details there and so yeah i, I had a lot of fun detailing up this kit uh so it was, it was kind of a a very a couple of after the master grade barbatos and then this kit it was uh, two kits in a row that have a lot of detail painting to do on them on the inner frame especially so it takes a little bit of time but it definitely helps with the overall look and i could have you know i could have gone even further with that there's a lot of details in there you know i could have gone a lot crazier with painting in like the, all the different sections of inner frame detail that you see in like loads of different colors so I don't want to get like too crazy with it but I just want to make some little bits pop so that you can still see some of those nice details on there. And I did sort of make, I was kind of make in quotation marks, make a custom base for this basically. This is just a photo frame uh, turned upside down and then I put the glass, which is used for like the front of the photo frame, put that on, on the top and then just made this kind of simple design there with the Neo Zeon logo and just some text. Uh, just printed that out to fit in there just so that it works. So it's like a backwards picture frame 
sort of basically for it to stand on. It just fits on there just right. Uh, I kind of actually wish that it was maybe slightly larger, uh, but as it is, it does fit on there pretty well. And just gives it just a nice something simple to stand on. It's just a little thing, uh, just a little kind of help the presentation I suppose just to make it look a little bit more special when it's got something to actually stand on a nice base to stand on rather than just standing on the shelf there by itself so uh, I like using I, I want to say making these bases but it's not really a whole lot of making involved it's sort of like just uh, uh, what's the word for that anyway reusing something as a base basically and uh, a lot of people do that I'm not certainly not the only one to do that a lot of people use photo frames photo frames make for very simple uh, and easy bases for your kits, so uh, it's a very common thing to use. So all in all, while this is a pretty large and complicated kit as far as 144 scale kits go, uh, I had a lot of fun with this. It did take a little bit of time, of course, but it was a fun kit to work on for sure. So really enjoyable kit. Again, if you guys have not seen my original just review of this kit, definitely you can check that out. Uh, it's a really great kit. If you haven't picked one up for yourself, I would definitely highly recommend it. Uh, and even still, I still get asked the question a lot of times, what do people prefer or what do I recommend between the RG or the Master Grade Verka Sazabi? And I, again, just to reiterate uh, my stance on that, dilemma, I would say that there's pros and cons to both the RG and the Master Grade Verka. I think in general I would probably recommend the RG to more people uh, than the Master Grade Verka. With that said, if you wanted a bigger, just big centerpiece for your collection that's going to be really eye-catching, then definitely the Master Grade Verka uh, is, has that presence for sure just for its sheer size and detail and everything on it but I'm going to have to get another real grade Sazabi now to work on again in the near future because as you guys may have seen uh, a couple months ago maybe I got the uh, resin dress up kit for the RG Sazabi from uh, Simp and so I need to work on that sometime in the near future as well so I actually need to be working on another one of these just it'll have the resin dress up set on there instead so I am definitely looking forward to working on this kit again with that dress up set on there so uh, that's gonna be it for this review guys just of this painted build let me know what you think down in the comments section down there if you have any other further questions about it too look, feel free to ask away I think I've kind of covered pretty much everything and again there I did do a work in progress video on this if you wanted to see more about just kind of like the colors and everything that I did for this I think mean, I covered that pretty well in the work in progress video so you can check that out if you haven't seen that uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.